When uh, you fall in love, it's a much more serious involvement. You just cannot forget this person. You feel miserable when not in their presence. You're always yearning, let's get, uh, see more of each other, let's get together, let's, uh, we're completely entangled. And then you see, you've actually, a, a kind of a, what I will call spiritual element has been introduced. Falling in love is uh, a thing that strikes like lightning and is therefore extremely analogous to the mystical vision. We don't know how really people attain the mystical vision. But as yet we are not clear as to why it comes about. And if there is any method of attaining it, the best one is probably to give up the whole idea of getting it. Uh, but you see, it is completely unpredictable. And so it is in that way, like falling in love, capricious and therefore crazy. <coughs> but if you should be so fortunate as to encounter either of these experiences, it seems to me to be a total denial of life to refuse it. Well now really when we go back then to falling in love and say it's crazy falling you see we don't say rising into love there is in it the idea of the fall and uh, it is goes back as a matter of fact to extremely fundamental things that there is always a curious tie at some point between the fall and the creation. Taking this ghastly risk uh, is the condition of there being life. You see, for all, the life is an, an act of faith and an act of gamble. The moment you take a step, you do so on an act of faith because you don't really know that the floor is not going to give under your feet. The moment you take a journey, what an act of faith. The moment you enter into any kind of human undertaking in relationship, what an act of faith. See, you've given yourself up. But this is the most powerful thing that can be done. Surrender. See, and love is an act of surrender to another person. Total abandonment. I give myself to you. Take me, do anything you like with me, see? So, <coughs> that's quite mad, because you see, it's letting things get out of control. So, actually, therefore, the, the, the course of wisdom, what is really sensible, uh, is to let go, uh, is to commit oneself, to give oneself up, and that's quite mad. So we come to the strange conclusion that in madness lies sanity. <laughs>